Cupid Shuffle, man. Uh huh. That's a that's a big song. Right, right. You know, right. I got like like I say, you know, that song could match up in the line with goddamn Frankie Beverly and Maze, right. Before I Let Go. Right, right. Um, one of them songs that go last forever. Yeah. Um one of them cookout classics. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> most 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 definitely, bro. Right, right. You know, and like, you know, I'm a DJ, me being a DJ, uh mm -hmm. certain parties. Every party I DJ at is not a, uh, you don't have a, you know, you, you DJ a little bit yeah, too, yeah. you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. It's not a dancing crowd all the time. Right. Sometimes you get that people just turning yeah. up right. automatically. Right. Sometimes it's a hard crowd. It's a little more sophisticated. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it don't matter where the party at, if it's a turn up party or not. Right. When the Cupid Shuffle come on, the whole flow, they come and do the Cupid Shuffle. Yeah, man. That's crazy, man. That's that's a different type of magic, bro. And you know how how did y'all come up with that? Man, like, a lot of the a lot of the formula of what me and Cupid do, man, starts from just his ideas. You know what I'm saying? Like okay. Him having an idea of what type of song he wants. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then the way me and him work, man, he'll just translate it to me. Mm -hmm. And I just the way my brain work is like, okay, that's what you got. This is what I hear that goes underneath me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. So when I think uh, at the time, I could be wrong, but at the time, the original C Cupid Shuffle was uh, when we made it, when we did we did a, we did the original, uh -huh. and we had a remix to it. Okay. The remix had J. Paul Jr. on it. Okay. So the Cupid Shuffle original remix got J. Paul on it. Okay. Right? So we was making something that was kind of Zodico-ish. Yeah. Because we had J. Paul on the remix. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. J, you know, yeah, so yeah, J. we was Paul, trying Zodico to go for was. around the same area as J. Paul and the Zodico stuff, but not being Zodico-ish, if that makes sense. Right. Like, we was trying to make a song to put a Zodico person yeah. on it, but we wasn't doing scrub boards and accordions yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. So, the track is emulating a Zodico track, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And we had J. Paul on the, on the remix. So on the original version, man, he was just like, man, I want it to be a dance. It's going to go this <laughs> yeah. way, you know, this way, da, da, da. So I'm like, well, man, you know, and I told this story on, on the episode with me and him on my podcast. It was okay. like, when I made the beat, man, I'm putting horns, keys. Right. I'm trying to dress this motherfucker up, man, because I'm like, man, we going to kill him. He like, man, take all that out. Yeah. I'm like, man, you tripping. <laughs> like, man, you tripping, man. Nah, man, that's too much, man. It's too much. We got to keep it simple. I'm like, dog, I'm the producer, man. Yeah. Let me produce, yeah. my brother. He like, nah, man, nah, man, keep it simple, bro. I just want the beat. Every time the verse starts, just give me the beat. I'm like, man, this literally. Yeah. Me and him went back and forth, and I was like, man, this ain't it, bro. Yeah. This ain't it, bro. And I even made the comment, and I laugh, we laugh about this all the time. I was like, all right, fine. <laughs> I'm going to leave it dry, but don't tell people I made this beat. Right, right. So you, you 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 didn't want nobody to know. You I didn't want beat. nobody to know I made the beat because to me it was too simple, and and Let's... and it ended up dog. This man freestyled the second verse. Damn, that's crazy. No pen, no paper. The man freestyled the second verse. So that's why at the end of the song, when he say, "It's your boy Cupid." C U P to I to D. Yeah, Mr. Fat on the track. God, that was a freestyle. That was a freestyle. Part. Wow. So when I'm saying. Man, don't tell nobody I made the beat. And then the man freestyled, Mr. Fat on the track. <laughs> and I'm in, I'm behind the computer. I'm like, all right, say my name in the song. And dog, ironically, that'll be one of the songs that our that, names is attached that's, to for us. Ain't that's crazy. That, that's, 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 that's how it be happening. Bro. Right, bro. Right. Did you in, anticipate the success of the song? Of Cupid Shuffle? Yeah. Hell no. Nobody did. Damn, Cupid we, didn't even uh dog, we knew we had something. But see, and I'm going to tell you this, bro. A lot of people, like when we talk about Cupid Shuffle, see how that's when we started yeah. Cupid Shuffle? People forget the era and the run me and Cupid had <laughs> prior to Before that. Cupid Shuffle. Like this is a whole nother. That's, yeah. Yeah, man. This is a whole nother catalog so, starting at Cupid Shuffle. So it's like we, we knew we had something. Like yeah. We knew something was, was up. Because when they put the dance to it, and, you know, he had the brass room on Thursday nights. Okay. So a lot of DJs wasn't really jumping on it right. too early. Yeah, it yeah. It was too brand new. And then plus with the line dance, that wasn't common since the bunny hop. 
You right. know what I'm saying? Bunny Hop was the first line dance out of Lafayette so, that, that broke. So Bunny Hop was out before Cuban Shuffle? Before Cuban Shuffle. Okay. When did it like, come to the point, like, whenever you got the phone call or when you woke up one morning or, like, when y'all knew that, like, it was on, that bitch didn't hit, man. that bitch there. Like, that that's was, like, I'm talking about all the way there. You know, okay, we knew something was up when we shot the original video. Okay. Uh, now people might not know this. I don't know if it still exists or if it's, if, if it's, if it's around. I told him if he find you to put it out. We shot an original independent Cupid Shuffle video. Okay. Downtown Lafayette. A lot of people might remember that. <laughs> Before Atlantic Records got in the mix, dog, he shot his own independent video. Okay. You know, we had, I think Chris Ardwan was there, man. It was a lot of local people in the mix, man. And we shot it downtown Lafayette. Had, but when we were shooting the video, we shot it at that little ballroom downtown. And I'm looking from the second floor, bro. And I'm watching this man direct these people. And the way I'm watching everybody do this line dance, bro. Right. That's when it hit me. And I was like, man, something might be brewing. You know what I'm saying? So that, that episode, that, that was the first time you seen the line dance? That's when I do? saw the collective of people doing it at one time. Okay. And I started seeing how easily people who had never saw the dance, by 30 to 40 seconds after watching people do it, yeah. they could catch it too. Yeah. So what I was really was noticing was the, the virility of it, how viral it could go by yeah. people just watching it yeah. for 30 seconds. Oh, I could do that. And they jumping in line. Yeah. So you watching the song play and it start off with 10 people on the floor. And by the song, <laughs> by the time the song over, it's 150 people. Shit, yeah. That's, and that's, exactly, that's exactly how it be going oh, down, bro. And that's how it is still to this day, bro. People will see the, listen to this song and never see the dance ever in life. And within the first 30, 40 seconds, they can pick up the dance and do it. Yeah. So who who y'all end up signing with? Uh, Atlantic Records. Y'all end up signing with Atlantic, Atlantic Records. Yeah, okay, man. okay, okay. Yeah, that was that was that was big. Oh yeah, bro. it was huge, man. Opened our eyes to the real to the business. Right to the business. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. To the to to, to the music business, yeah, bro. Man. You know. So how uh, like how you and Cupid even like hooked up? Man, from the studio you was at. Michael Lockett. Michael Lockett, man. So shout out to Big Mike, man. Mr. Big. Michael man. Lockett, bro. That's, that's my dude. I ain't saw him in a long time. Yeah, man. Good dude, man. That's that's Michael Lockett is one of probably the one of the biggest mentors that was in my career at a early time. Put your mouth on the titty. I'm trying to tell you.